Hello, dear friends! Many have heard about the legendary German anti-tank grenade launcher, but there was such a gun which had combat power surpassing even Faust Patron. But only by the will of fate it remained in the shadows despite all its merits. In 1943, when the backbone of the Third Reich had broken, and the aviation of the Allies of World War II began to take over the airspace, it was necessary to create an effective weapon against airplanes. It would seem that to fight aircraft there were anti-aircraft guns, but they could not cope with the task due to the fact that the skill of the Western Allies pilots had improved, and we also should consider the lack of these guns in the Third Reich. In addition to fighting airplanes, Germans wanted to create a weapon that would be able to hit not only enemy planes, but also enemy tanks. So German gunsmiths began to feverishly create another miracle weapon that would stop the inevitable collapse of the Third Reich. In 1944, Lan Weyler began to develop the Luftfaust B portable anti-aircraft missile system. It consisted of 920mm smoothbore tubes, ring connected to each other, and equipped with two trigger handles, a hinged shoulder rest, an electronic ignition system, and very basic sights, such as an open sight. This weapon used a 9-round magazine. The 9 rockets were fixed in its bottom chamber and loaded directly into the barrel. The magazine was attached to the bridge block by a locking device, and it remained attached while firing. The fire was carried out in two successive volleys. The first five rockets were launched simultaneously, and then with a 0.1 second delay the remaining four were launched. This was ensured by an induction generator assembled in the electronic launcher. There were electrical contacts in the magazine for connecting the missile igniters to the induction generator. Despite the successes achieved by German gunsmith in creating the new model, not everything in the design of the main portable air defense system was yet successful. One of the main drawbacks of the upgraded Luftfaust was its very high rocket dispersion when firing. At ranges up to 200 meters, it was over 40 meters across, and only 10% of the missiles reached their targets, although at smaller ranges the effectiveness of the missile was quite high. So work on the weapon continued. At the same time, the defeat suffered by the Wehrmacht in the summer and autumn battles of 1944 on the Eastern and Western Front forced the Wehrmacht Weapons Administration to sign a contract in November of that year for the production of 10,000 Luftfaust B man portable air defense systems and 4 million missiles for the ground forces. Though the Luftwaffe B system was still very far from being fully completed and only a few prototypes of the new weapon had been produced. To put it simply, they were not ready for mass production. As a result, only 80 rocket launchers were delivered to the front, and it was only in March 1945, when in fact everything was already over. There is no exact data on whether they were used in combat against both ground and air vehicles. This weapon is a huge rarity, as only one copy has survived. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and don't forget subscribe to the channel. Bye everyone, see you later.